to day 18 of our Christmas Carol Countdown. Thanks for joining me on such a beautiful morning. Even though somebody sounds a little grumpy upstairs, but not to worry. Right, let's get going. Ah, great. So, if you're a regular to my channel, you'll know that normally on these shelves we've got plenty of books. And this one might have caught your eye. So, we have 501 must-read books. We go. I've had this book for years. I think I picked it up when I went to the literary festival at Hay on Y. Lovely places, loads and loads of bookshops. But that's not what we need to know now. What we want to do is have a look to see if Dickens, A Christmas Carol, has made it in here. And surprise, surprise, it has. I also won't be talking about it, will I? But yes, we have got the Christmas books. So if you can remember earlier on in our countdown, we talked about the Christmas tree as well, had a nice version of that to look at. So rather than just saying a Christmas carol in here, they've gone for the Christmas books. And again, we've got Mr. and Mrs. Fezziwig dancing at the ball here, which we've seen a couple of times. So what I'm going to do now is just read this entry out for you. So if you've got a pen, you might want to take some notes. And you might want to listen for the key facts because in your exam obviously you're going to read some pieces of writing and you need to be able to identify the important information within there. So, although there are technically five Christmas stories by Dickens, only two are actually set during the Christmas period. The others are New Year stories. These two enjoyable novellas are easily read in a single sitting. So yeah, like we said previously, you're very lucky if you're doing your GCSEs because you have got a very short novella here. A Christmas Carol featured the indomitable and miserly Ebenezer Scrooge. So here he is, but looking a little bit chirpier. And he is now known throughout the world. The story of Scrooge's conversion is both astoundingly powerful and moving. As such, this must surely be the most famous Christmas story outside the Gospels. The much less known The Haunted Man, 1848, is also a story of the redemptive powers of memory. It is not as easy a read as Scrooge's story, but it's perhaps more thought provoking. Okay, so we'll leave it at that, but it might be you want to try and get hold of a copy of The Haunted Man. So I'll pop some links in the description box below for you so you can check those out. And if you're wondering, I haven't made it through all 501 texts, but I am trying to do it, one of my little goals. What we do, as a family, in fact, is just add our initials to the ones we've read to keep track. All right then, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day 19. Christmas is getting closer, but bye for now.